everyone. I'm Lynn with Psychic Focus at PsychicFocus.blogspot.com and today I wanted to do a topic called 2100 year old iPhone. So the question is how about this 2100 year old iPhone? And there's an, a link to an article that talks more about it and just a quick blurb of text from the article in case you don't have a chance to go to the article and read the article for yourself right now. It says a remarkable 2,137 year old object said to resemble an iPhone has been dug up from a grave of a young woman. The structure is made of black gemstone jet, a type of lignite with inlays of semi-precious precious stone. So it's this black stone that has other stones inlaid within it. It was found after the Alate Necropolis, a reservoir near Saya Shushkanishka Dam and Russia's biggest power plant was drained. So they drained this power plant dam and then they happen upon this grave of this woman and find this object. So this person asking the question, want to know what is this all about? What is this 2100 year old phone about? So I read the question. I put that out there to learn more about what it was and what uh, was going on with the story behind this. And I get that it might look like an iPhone, but it doesn't work like an iPhone. Um, it doesn't work like an iPhone at all. And it's coming through to me that this was to really serve as an, ador an adornment, like a piece of jewelry or decoration, emphasizing this person's status within society. And it looked to me like it was worn across their chest on a sash, like somehow affixed to this sash that went across their chest and it looked more like this chest plate kind of a thing but it was for decoration it didn't serve the purpose of protection or anything like that i also got that the person and this woman that had this she was very powerful and influencing because she was part human and part nordic um extraterrestrial uh i I got that she was a hybrid, but it took me a minute to try to figure out and hear how, um, human and what. And finally I was able to get something about Nordics come through. I thought that was really interesting. And I get that this was a gift given to her as a young child. So she had this for several years and she wore it ever since then. I also got that it was made from lignite because it was a soft material that was more easily manipulated or could be carved out. It was easy to work with. The stones that were included represented fire, the red, and the water was the blue. And the lignite itself was for grounding in earth. So it's like you have this balancing stone of earth, fire, and water. Oddly, wind wasn't included because normally when you get those symbols. Wind is a part of it. It's the fourth symbol. This did not have that. thought that was strange. However, this is what it is. Uh, my impression is that the woman was very highly respected. Many looked up to her and she also had a really strong intuitive sense. Many people also referred to her as a seer, which many times in history you'll hear of, of people referring to a seer or um, consulting with a seer. I get that she was considered a seer and out of respect for her when she passed she was buried with this this tarm or this choke you know token um, piece of jewelry that she was always seen carrying and wearing. Um, really interesting reading. I want to thank the person that asked the question. I had never heard of this ever so I really enjoyed tapping into something that was a little different. I know this was a kind of a short reading. Um, that was all that I really had on it, but I look forward to any questions that you have or any comments and please like me and share me. That really helps me out a lot in this day and age of censorship and shadow banning and everything else. So like me, share me. I really appreciate it. And again, I'm Lynn with Psychic Focus at psychicfocus.blogspot.com. Thank you. Bye.